I have on my bookshelves an anthology of Scottish religious poetry. What struck me when I first opened it was just how many of the poems were originally in Gaelic and required an English translation. It made me more conscious of the rich heritage bequeathed to all of us in Scotland by forebears who expressed their faith so eloquently in the Gaelic tongue. Just as it is important that those of us who are non-Gaelic speakers can, through translation, gain access into these insights, so too should we recognise the importance for those for whom Gaelic is a mother tongue, who have learnt Gaelic at home, through Gaelic medium education, or through study in later life, to worship God and to nourish and express their faith through the medium of an historic mother tongue. I'm conscious that just as the popularity of Gaelic has grown in our wider society, and not just in Scotland, the indications are that its use within the church has slipped backwards. Over time, services which were traditionally Gaelic only may have become bilingual, or even English only. However, the challenges of the last 14 months and the development of online worship have also highlighted opportunities. Through online broadcast of live services and the posting of pre-recorded services, more people have been able to join in worship in Gaelic. Moreover, one of the problems encountered in the recent past, the shortage of Gaelic-speaking ministers or those with the confidence to read from the scripture in Gaelic, can be addressed by accessing preachers and readers from literally all over the world. It has been possible for worship to have been enriched by recordings of singers from many different places. As we move to the new normal, whatever that may be, it will be important to harness and build upon these developments. At the same time, I am aware that there have been groups in the church which have been looking at how we can address the challenges whilst promoting the development of Gaelic in different ways throughout the Church of Scotland. I cannot anticipate what will be in any report which may come to a future General Assembly, but I can say that as a church, our worship and our mission must surely be enriched and strengthened by embracing all the strands of our historic heritage.